Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotzoC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where last time we found the stronghold and lit it up and today hopefully we will face down the Ender Dragon. But as this is a no mining series, which means uh, we cannot break any uh, blocks that are naturally generated, uh, it gets a bit more complicated. So let's see if we are prepared. So we have quite a few blocks. We need those in order to, uh, once we are done with the dragon, uh, to bridge between the islands. We cannot mine the endstone after all. And then we can also uh, either the, the spawn platform, the obsidian platform where we uh, enter the end is either off the main island uh, and then we have to bridge to the main island or it could be completely encased by the main island and as we cannot uh, mine our way out, we need a bit of TNT. Hopefully, 10 are enough. And we have uh, a sword, we have a bow, fight the dragon, we have some gravity blocks to get up the pillars. Um, also, got some, uh, some ladders, bucket of water and ender pearls so aside from feather falling uh four boots i think the biggest uh danger uh beside the uh the endermen uh are that we are being flung out into the air and fall to our death if we are flung over the uh, void and then fall, yeah, well, not much we can do there, but that's life. So then, let's see what awaits us in the end. All right, we are off here to the side and almost over the over the island. That's not too bad. Dragon is here somewhere. Yeah. Can hear him. We need to Get up there, yeah. So, first, let's construct ourselves a bit of, uh, of a system that can potentially save us from, uh, from the Enderman. Should we look at some of them and then can we? Yes, we can. And always look that we are. Well fed. And then we have to deal with all the end crystals. And there is another cage. Let's 
further up here. That was an error of mine. Nice. If you are standing below the the end crystal, you do not take damage. And from up here, I have a better chance at hitting all these crystals. Almost. Okay. And let's see that we can get down. Then here I think is another cage. Have a, yeah, have a few more. Try this again. Luckily, from that height, feather falling was enough. So This vantage point should be able to take out a few more crystals. Over there, almost. That one is gone, and then the last. Hope that's the last. At least he's only healing from that crystal. And I have mainly a fire bow because here in the end you can better see where the where your arrows are flying. So now that we have dealt with all the crystals we can deal with the dragon and one way to do that is once again using a bow and now he should no longer heal up and at this point is coming down Hit him hard. You have to be careful. Not to be flung out while doing this. Oh, 
he is. So let's eat up. Pull out our bow. And chances are I could also hit an enderman with an arrow. He would not like that. But it's probably not the end of the world. Is coming down again. Having a powerful bow helps. And then we do another round of this again. Should move an ender pull on my hot bar just in case. Come on. He is below half health. And there he goes. Also a white dragon breath. And there he goes. And quite a bit of XP. That opens the uh, the portal here in the middle it also opens one of the uh, end gates uh, over there we have one and what we will do is create a staircase up to it And have a safe way to go through because we want to get to an end city that has a ship that can get us a lot an elytra and uh, we can then safely fly around well as long as the elytra does not break. But once we have our first elytra, um, life should get easier uh, in getting more elytras. Oh, uh, maybe I am even a bit too high. Um, don't need those anymore. And then I can use slabs. Over. Ooh, still too high. All right. No problem. Then we have crafting bench here and what we need is a bit of wood. A um, bit more wood. We can craft a trapdoor. 
trapdoor goes here. We put that up. And flick it up and then go through here. And looking to the ground, we can move on to find our first end city. And this will take a while. But should not be uh, too difficult um, if we come up. Oh, it's even the land bridge. I mean, over narrow gaps, we could also uh, end the pearl. And uh, yeah, we will see once we come to the first end city. There we have the first end city. It's not big, it has no ships, but at least it should give us a few shulker shells um, that we can put to good use to store uh, our gear in. So uh, let's see how to deal with shulkers properly. There we have the first shell on the floor. It's the only one. Ooh, um, I prefer shells over uh, the irony stuff. And then we shall head up here. deal with the ones here on top. Can you lift me out, please? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, then uh, let's hide here in the corner. Look through. Uh, the chests here. Ooh, diamonds! Those are really hard to come by. So, what we will do here is take out this. We do have two shulker shells. Break a chest. Um, I am interested in the chest first and we can make our very first shulker shell, uh, shulker box, that's it, and put away all the stuff that we do not necessarily Need right now. Oh, and uh, I think we can get rid of the shovel. This one we will probably need. Then from here we will take this. Right. Don't need the gravel anymore. Take this and that. And then we see about the 
the shells. There is one or two up here. So if you let me join you. There is one more. Probably somewhere on the outside. There you go. And that's it. That's how you deal with an end city. And uh, we will do some more. We will eventually come across one with a ship. And then we can really let loose. Now this one is bigger and it has a ship. So uh, there's two tall towers. I think we can get quite a few shulkers and eventually our first elytra. But let's focus on cleaning up the city first before trying to get the elytra from the ship. Now then, on to the ship. As I am a bit higher here, should not be really a problem to get on the ship or over the ship. And down we go. Let's wait out this effect and then we storm down. Take this one out. Nice, more diamonds, more shovels, more gold. More helmets. We can all put that away. Also more shulker shells. So now we have the elytra. And I came prepared. Um, also have some rockets. So... Let's take flight, um, not like this, we will need the end chest, we should be, a ooh, back there is another one. And with the elytra, 
It should be much safer now. Floating away. Because we can just glide down here. There are still a few shulkers left. Mainly over there. Does that one come out? Let's try glide over here. Yes, that's what shulkers are made for. Then this one as well. Yes, that's what I like. Then there we have a few more on the outside. Right. Very nice. There is another one. But I think we can call this end city done. And move on to the next one because there will be more. And I want to get more than just one elytra because they do have a tendency uh, to break. And uh, and I could also die in the process. Uh, that should not be uh, uh, too bad. Um, I hope. Because we spawn on top of the end gate. Uh, maybe um, I should re-equip myself a bit. But we can get here no problem and by the magic of editing we managed to respawn here where we left all our spoils so that probably means we have to sort some things out Uh, in order to accommodate everything that is important, um, we can actually craft ourselves another shulker box. And with that, I say goodbye to you, and next time we will meet again, set out with a few sets of Elytra, uh, some shulker boxes, and other good gear. So, join me next time. Until then, goodbye!